Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you the difference between Legion Space and the pre-installed Legion software compared to the MSI's M Center software. On the Legion Go 2 you will find the button with the Legion symbol in the upper left corner. When you press this button the Legion software called Legion Space will open on your device. It looks a bit like the Steam Store and I think Lenovo took some inspiration from it. There are several sections to choose from, Profile, Store, Settings and Controllers. You can see these options in the top bar of the screen. In the Profile section you can log in into your Lenovo account to access online support and view your cloud screenshots. In the Store section you can purchase games from other platforms like Steam. However, be careful because you need a Lenovo account to do this. In the Library section you can find all games installed on your device to quickly launch them. You also have a Settings menu where you have a performance, display, audio, disk and drivers and general button. Here you can also monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures along with a few other things. Let's go into the performance tab. Here we can choose between the thermal modes. We have quiet, balance, performance and custom. Quiet is with 8 to 10 watts, balanced is with 15 watts and performance is with 20 to 30 watts. You can also change the fan settings inside this menu for every thermal mode. And the custom mode you see here is the most important mode for most of us because here you can play around with the TDP and set your own settings. And in the custom mode you can also set your own fan settings and play around with them. For this you have a fan curve that you can adjust here. There is also a FPS limiter. When enabled you can set the maximum FPS output for a game up to 144 frames per second. Because the Legion 2 maximum refresh rate is 144. Let's go into the display section. Here you can change the brightness of your device as well as the resolution. There is also the option to change the refresh rate of your display. You can set your display to 60Hz or to 144Hz. I personally like to use 800p as the display resolution because of performance reasons in games, but I'm sure a lot of you like Full HD more. At the bottom is also the setting for radio and super resolution, so your screen gets a little bit crispier in games. In the audio section you can do the same things like in your Windows audio section, so nothing special here. Let's go into the disk and driver section. Here you can see how much hard disk space you have left. You will also find a button that allows you to search for the latest updates at Lenovo. If you press it, a small animation will appear while your device searches for updates. And if any are found, you can download them. Here in my example we don't find any, because I have already downloaded all the latest updates. We get the message that our system is up to date. And you can also search for Windows updates in this menu. Let's go into the general section. Here you have some options to choose from, like your preferred language, if you want a 24 hour clock, if you want Windows to boot directly into Legion Space, as well as some other options, like enabling the lightning on the analog sticks, optimize battery charging, setting up your Legion Space download folder, as well as the screenshot folder, and you can also see what the current version of your software is. Let's go into the controller section. Here you have a lot of options to customize your controller. I personally have never used it and I think I will never use it, but I still want to show you the options. In the more area, you can set the controller mode, the controller vibration, the vibration mode. When your controllers go to sleep mode, you can set a function shortcut, you can see the battery status and you can check for updates. You also have a controller calibration area where you can calibrate your controller and see if everything is properly functioning. There is also a gyro settings area where you can enable or disable gyro functions. Then we have a trigger settings area where we can set up the trigger travel of the controllers. A joystick area where we can adjust the dead zone. Then we have an area for the joystick light. Here we can set up the light of the controllers. We can change the color or disable the color. Also change the brightness. We can change the lightning effect. Let's try out the color green and let's also try out the brightness of 100. And now let's go back to 11 or 71. So you have a lot of customization options for your controller lightning. Let's take a look at the quick settings of the Lenovo Legion Go 2. At the top right you will find a button for the quick settings on your Lenovo Legion Go 2. If you press it a menu will appear on the right side. 
Here you have access to all kind of quick settings. It is very similar to the settings in Legion Space from before, but with some small differences that I will show you now. For example, you can choose your OS power mode here. You can also set your TDP here, adjust the fan directly in the game and also change the already known thermal mode. You also have a performance monitor at the top of the quick settings. There is also a general quick setting where you can change the brightness of your screen, the resolution, a few other things and you can turn on or turn off your frame monitor. In the controller quick settings you can change the controller vibration, your vibration mode, you can change the lightning effects, you can enable or disable the touchpad as well as enable the gyro. Last but not least I want to show you the frame monitor. You have the simple setting. Then you have the normal setting where you can see the CPU, the GPU, the battery and the frames per second. Then you also have the all frame monitor. On the all frame monitor you have the CPU, the GPU, the VRAM, the RAM, the battery life. You can see the fan RPM. You can see if Radeon Super Resolution is on or off and you can see the frames per second. What you cannot see with the Lenovo Legion Go is the total power used, how much wattage your device is using, but you can see this with the MSI Claw and with M Center, and I really miss this feature on the Lenovo Legion Go. So let's jump to M Center on the MSI Claw, and the second button on the top left opens the M Center on the MSI Claw, and this is what the M Center homepage looks like once you have opened it. If you press the button at the bottom left of the M Center, the menu opens where you can set your TDP. You can choose AI Engine here. This mode automatically adapts to the game you play. You also have the Endurance mode to choose from. With this mode your MSI Claw tries to save as much battery as possible and the TDP is usually between 8 and 15 watts. And then you have the manual mode where you can adjust your TDP yourself. Let's go back to the home screen of M Center and let's take a look at the control mode button. Here you can choose between the gamepad mode or the desktop mode. With the gamepad mode the device functions as a traditional game controller. And with the desktop mode, the left stick acts as a mouse. Let's go back and let's take a look at news and updates. Here you can search for updates in the M Center. Uh, you find BIOS updates, firmware updates, graphic updates, everything update related that comes from MSI you can find here inside. You also have a news tab here where you find MSI's best settings for games. As example, we can go into Dying Light and let's see what MSI is saying here. Recommended settings over 50 FPS, everything on low. And yeah, that's it. I would say you can play Dying Light with much higher settings than this. But yeah, I don't know. There is also a connection menu, but it's really pointless, so let's go to the next thing. And the next thing are the general settings. Here you can turn on or turn off the AI engine. Then we have the Mystic Light section. Here you can adjust how the light should behave on your analog stick. I will now show you some settings. Here the steady setting. Then you can also turn the light off. This is the brief setting. Of course, you also have the option to adjust the colors everywhere if you want. This is the color cycle. And this is the wave setting. You also have an info mode where it shows you if you are currently in the gamepad mode, desktop mode or in the MSI mode. Then you have an AI noise cancellation mode that you can use if you play online with your MSI Claw. There is also a media gallery, system info. Here you can see all your system informations like your serial number, your product key for Windows. Then you have a battery tab to recalibrate your battery, a service tab to make use of the MSI support. 
And then again, you have the general settings where you can set MSI Center as startup app and make some other small tweaks. Okay, guys, let's see what the quick settings menu looks like on the MSI Claw. As you just saw, I pressed the button on the bottom right to call it up. And here you have now a lot of settings which you can access and change directly from the game. On the A8, you have one or two different settings than on the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, but it's essentially the same menu. If you press the settings button here, you have the option to change the widgets at M Center. These options you see here are the ones I have not added yet because I think I don't need them. But yeah, let's go through all the menu items that are important. You have the FPS limiter, but it doesn't work in many games. I think the games have to support DirectX 12 for it to work. You have AMD Fluid Motion Frames here, but it doesn't work on my A8 yet. I'm still waiting for an MSI update. You have the real-time monitor here. That's what I always use in my videos to show you the FPS. And you have four levels here. The higher the level, the more it shows you. I always use the highest level with the most data in my videos. So you can choose between off, small, medium and large. And right below you also have the option to place the real-time monitor anywhere else on the screen. Bottom center, bottom right, top left, top center, top right, bottom left. But I personally use always bottom center in my videos. You can also free up your memory. It has never given me better performance, but I do it every now and then, especially when I'm shooting one of my videos. Then you can also turn off or on the CPU boost on your device. You have AMD Super Resolution. You can take screenshots. You can also end tasks, like in the task manager. And one of the most important things I forgot to show you for some reason in this video, I forgot to record it, it's the TDP slider in the quick settings menu. On the far left, the first widget that says manual and below it says user scenario. There you can change the TDP on the MSI Claw A8 and on the MSI Claw 8 AI+. I hope I have managed to give you a better insight into the different software on both devices. Many of you will probably only be familiar with one of them. And yeah guys, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye.